Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. Uh, we're going to talk about an issue that comes up every so often, specifically with older vehicles with higher mileages. As you guys already know, if you guys, you know, as you guys already know, parts actually break down for most vehicles, probably for all vehicles after uh, your vehicle. Uh, has maybe like over a hundred thousand miles if you're lucky maybe two hundred thousand miles but inevitably all vehicles um, break down now with this issue you're gonna get a check engine light you could get stalling you could get poor acceleration and bad fuel economy and all these signs are a result of uh, possible camshaft position sensor issues so basically uh, the camshaft position sensor is an electronic device that does uh, what's, what it uh, says it does it monitors the camshaft position and speeds and it pretty much gives that data to your car's computer which is the ECM uh, the ECM needs to control how much fuel enters the combustion chamber and ignition timing spark to ignite the fuel when the air fuel mixture is ignited at precisely the right uh, time engine power and fuel economy increase and tailpipe emissions decrease so uh, so let's let's go through uh, what you guys need to know as far as the symptoms are concerned. Um, the easiest way to figure this out is you get a check engine light, um, and uh, if you guys do get a check engine light, you guys could always get an OBD2 to uh, figure out what the issue is. But if you guys don't have an OBD2, and uh, you guys want to take a guess at what it is, you guys shouldn't because you guys could go to AutoZone and get a free diagnosis as far as that's concerned. But Here's what you're going to have issues with uh, if you guys have a bad camshaft uh, position sensor. Um, it, it, uh, you're going to lose the ability to quickly transfer uh, data, which is, you know, the, the sensor itself is electronic and obviously it's not going to transfer the right data to your car's computer. And obviously that's going to cause a mismatch in fuel and delivery and ignition timing. And even a few uh, milliseconds going to cause your car to sputter. Um, and accelerate poorly uh, it's gonna it's not gonna have a lot of power it's gonna store on you and it might even shut off all right second thing you're gonna have as far as issues are concerned is probably transmission shifting issues and a lot of people think that this might have issues to do with uh, the transmission itself now, but um, you know uh, it can cause uh, issues with the shifting solenoids from operating and gears from shifting uh, and uh, a lot of times what that's called it's called limp mode and most vehicles these days have limp mode because what happens is if your um, car uh, gets that gets conflicting data it doesn't get data from a specific uh, sensor what happens is it puts your car into a mode called limp mode where you probably be able to go maybe like 15 20 miles per hour at most and it, it pretty much limits the damage that could possibly be done um, to your vehicle um, even with a uh, bad um, camshaft position sensor um, but also on top of that you guys could get um, really bad MPG uh, fuel economy so basically inaccurate readings um, uh, what happens is it, it, it might force uh, excess fuel into the combustion chamber and this could cause engine knocking and serious damage if too much uh, gasoline gets built up in the chamber. Also, on top of that, your car might not be able to start uh, and if you ignore the symptoms and you keep on driving with a bad camshaft um, a sensor um, and if that sensor goes out on you completely, you might not be able to start. Uh, so what happens is, uh, you know, your camshaft position sensor might be sending weak signals. It might be on the stage of going out. However, if it dies completely, um, it's, it's going to keep your car from starting because the computer is not going to be able to figure out how much fuel and spark delivery uh, to um, to 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 get to put into your engine. 
and uh, you might have a no start issue. But in any case, in any case, those are the uh, symptoms of a um, a bad can shaft position sensor. Um, so let's talk about where it's located as very rarely is this actually um, something that's really easy to get to um, under the hood in front of the engine. A lot of times you gotta take the wheel off. It's uh, on the back side of the engine, but it kind of depends on uh, uh, what kind of vehicle you have, car, SUV, truck, van, or whatever. It's located various. Is it's located in various areas, but um, if you guys have uh, this problem, and I'm gonna tell you what's the easiest thing to do as far as trying to figure it out, because if you guys are getting all those uh, all those symptoms, definitely if you're gonna get a limp mode, you're gonna if your, car, your vehicle goes in limp mode, um, it's gonna get a, you're gonna have a check engine light on your dash. OBD2 readers are not expensive. You can get one at Walmart for 20 bucks. You can get don't go to AutoZone because I think the cheapest they have is like 50 or something like that. Just you can go to Walmart, get one for 20 bucks. It's called an OBD2 scanner. If you guys don't know too much about cars, uh, all you gotta do is just plug it into your OBD2 scanner. It'll read the code for you. If it's the crankshaft or camshaft position sensor, it's gonna come up um, as a code. And uh, you know, you know exactly what the problem is. In that case, you won't have to guess as to what the problem is, and that'll help you out tremendously. Because um, you know, if if you guys don't know what it is, just taking a guess at it, or even paying the dealership or a garage to try to figure out what the problem is, it's gonna be costly. All right. Um, hope that this has helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions, definitely leave a question in the comment section. If you guys have any of your own personal experiences with this, uh, definitely leave a comment in the comment section. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. Hope this has helped you guys out and you guys get your car working the way that you want it to work again. The way that's supposed to work. All right, guys. Um, have a good day. Take care. Take care.